When you open your monday.com board, do you only want to see certain things and not an entire board? Because sometimes your boards are really big. Like you only want to see the information that's relevant to you and what you need to do that day. Let me show you how you can create a view in monday.com. So that way you can have a personalized view of the information exactly as you need it. So let's jump in. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner. My goal is to make Monday the best part of your week. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. So let's jump in to today's tutorial. I want to take a minute to talk about views. Now, what views are in monday.com is there a way to group information in a way that's meaningful for you. So if we start on this task board over here, you can see that there's a lot, a lot of columns. And honestly, I don't need them every single day. So I don't want to be looking through them and scrolling through them. So that's why monday.com invented views. If you look right under the name of the board, which is the task board, you can see over here that I have different views. Now, one view that I set up is if I just want to see, let's say, all of my information for client number one. So you have a client column. So if I click on this column, what it does is it just shows me that view with just that client. So I'm going to show you how we do this. So you're going to click the plus button and you're going to click table. Okay. So I'm just going to call it a test because we're testing it out. Um, it actually did save my my views from before, my view from before. So I'm actually going to just add everything back in. So now we're starting from scratch and you can see we have all of the columns. Now there's a few different filters or things that I can hide on this view. So the first thing that you can do is you can hide columns. If I click on the hide button, so here's all of my columns. I could decide I don't want any columns or let's just say I just want to see status and client and due date. So all I would do is click on the columns that on the columns that I want and click save to this view. Now, if I go back to my main table again, you can see that we see everything. And if I click on test, you can see that I only see those specific columns that I've chosen. We can further add to the view by let's say limiting it by a person. So I can limit to things that are only assigned to me. You can see here's one, one thing that's only assigned to me. And again, I would have to hit save to view. We also can use the advanced filter. So here we have one client, this advanced filter that was set is when client is client number one. I can add another one and let's say group is, like I only wanna show the top group and I save to view. So there's a lot of different ways that you can categorize your information so that way you view it just in one place. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, like it below. And don't forget to subscribe so you can receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. That's it. Until next time.